Hi, it's I from Groovy Entertainment. Today, we got another video of me trying to remember the the book on record or, or tape that I had played and to tell you about it. Now, we did this book last week, or not, uh, the week before, Robin Hood from 1970. I don't want to wreck the record because I take the record out. Now, what I remember of this book is that it, it had nice drawings in it. And this reminds me of the Disney live action Robin Hood that came out in 1954. And that was a good movie, the 54 version. Now, now they did have the Aaron Flynn movie for 1938 Robin Hood. And that was that was super good too. So you had them two Robin Hoods. So I don't can't remember any. Oh, you have the other Disney Robin Hood that was made in '73, the cartoon. But this was like it was made. Oh, this book came out before the cartoon. So that kind of that show that movie never existed at this time. So this was like the real life action of Robin Hood, and looking at some of these pictures, whoever drew these picture was real good. They they remind me of the Hanna Barbera kind of kind of realistic drawings that they did in the in the in the mid sixties. Like uh Johnny Quest and your Space Ghost and your Birdman on them people. So this was nice. And this tells the whole the whole story of Robin Hood in like a cliff note kind of thing. Cause they can't share the whole thing. And this was a good Disney one. The only thing that was terrible was the soundtrack. And I know you can't do a, like a pop soundtrack of a of an old folk uh, story character. Now this is about Robin, yeah, Robin Hood trying to get the queen, no, the, the sheriff's daughter or wife or whoever she was, and he falls in love with her, and then he tried to. I, but I know he gets all the money from the rich people, and give it all to the poor people again. Let's see if we get. Then you get to meet all the characters, like Little John, oh, uh, and all the other characters. <laughs> yeah, here we hit the fight scene. I think this is Little John. Right. Trying to read backwards, fun. Let's see. Yep, this is Little John. They have a lot of fight scenes in this book. Then you got this character. You got Fryer. I think Fryer Top. It's kind of strange when you only remember the wall, the cartoon one, and trying to put all the cartoon character to this to this book. But like I said, I saw the other two live action Robin Hood from the thirties and fifties. I can't remember any more Robin Hood movies. Now that now there was that TV show from the fifties, and there there was a nineteen sixty six cartoon. I think it was Robin. Robin Rocket, something like that. I think clips of that. Now here is King Richard, the old man in the middle. Yeah, these these are no good drawings. Too bad the book on wreck. Too bad this book don't give credit to the people who drew the book, or did they? Nah. No, they never give credit to anything. Now, I don't know if they did that on purpose because if you give credits, you have to pay the people every time you sell a book. So the artists, the authors, they all get paid every time they make a copy of this book and sell it. So I think that's why they did it too. Didn't he ripped off everybody who was on this book? Even the Rucker. 
Okay, the record didn't rip off. They said they tell they they said who was on the record, who who read the story and who sung the song. But the pictures and everything else, they ripped off them people royalty. Right and I feel bad about it too because I can't give credit to the people who did this though. So when you guys ask me who who wrote the book, who drew the pictures, I have no clue. And you can see I have no clue here. Because look, this is the first page. And all you see is this stuff. Now, I feel bad, but this book is 54 years old, too, so. And here's some fights. Here, here's the end scene where all the guards attack Robin Hood and the other good guys. And then King Richard knights Robin Hood, and he becomes a real good guy. He don't have to steal anymore. And then you got the Black Knight. And then everything goes, everything have a lovely ending. He gets to marry the prince or queen, or whoever she was. Now, like I said, I'm trying to remember this stuff off the top of my head. So that was Robin Hood. For 1970. Now, like I said, the only thing I could say for it, this was a fast book. This wasn't no slow thing like most book of record are sometimes. The picture was real good. The audio was real great. Now, I know the audio had a lot of skipping and, and static through it. I have no control over that. And you see, these records are in, not in good shape all the time. That's why I tell you an inscription about each of my records. So you can't come back at me saying, why do it sound like this or that? I'll let, I'll, I'll let you know right off the bat. And sometimes it's good when it sounds terrible because that's one way to get, to get through the copyright people. If it sounds so terrible, the copyright people can't figure out what's playing. They have to take out the static and you can't do that nowadays. So... So please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a groovy day with another video coming out real soon.